Suppose you could sum up a, a whole body of thought and a whole code of conduct and an entire, uh, an entire law in just one statement. Well, in Romans 13, 8 through 14, Paul says you can. He says, Oh, no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. There it is. Now, he talks about what it means because we're always working out what it means. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is. It's now the moment for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. What time is it? When we, when we, I mean, really, what time is it? How do we judge the times that we're living in right now? It's time to love. There's no better time to love. There's no more urgent time to love. There's no moment in history where love has not been more vital and crucial to everything we are and do. The night is gone. The day is near. It's a day of hope. But you got to know it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. We've been sleeping too long. And so he continues, Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not reveling uh, and drunkenness, not in debauchery or licentiousness, not in quarreling or jealousy. What's wrong with these things? They're not love. They're not love. What's wrong with darkness? It's not love. What's right about light? It's love. Love dwells in the light. And then he tells us how to do it in the last verse, verse 14. Instead, that means it is counter to the darkness, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. If we love, we can't live selfishly. We can't live as if we're the only people in the world. And we can't live as if our rights were the only ones that ever mattered. We have to live for others and live for Christ. The Lord bless you in a big way today and help you as you work this out, as you consider it, as you walk around with it. Amen.